Number nine, Elon Musk had some big plans to create two underground tunnels. One of them would have connected Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. The other would have taken fans from the neighborhoods around downtown Los Angeles to Dodger Stadium in just a few minutes. Politicians and bigwigs were excited. Uh, city governments across the country were on board. They all started talking to people at the Boring Company, yeah. which is what Musk named his tunnel firm. Boring. Musk even had a mile-long model tunnel built in Vegas. <laughs> uh, but it turns out a lot of civil engineering experts say Musk's ideas are great, the ideas, but constructing hyperloops and tunnels that are many miles long isn't as easy as his company has made it out to be. As of now, the tunnels in L.A. and Washington haven't broken any ground hmm. and aren't even mentioned on the company website, which wow. I think we all could have predicted yeah. were never going to happen. They were but talking about that doing here. They were doing that yeah, here. Yeah, weren't they? From downtown here, here, yeah. they were never going to happen. No, nah, never going to happen. You still can't get your garbage cans. I got yeah. my garbage cans. <laughs> you got them, yeah. I did. I had to call an alderman that wasn't in my ward from about 20 wards away because I know a guy. But that's the Chicago way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I got him. That's yeah. all right. I know a guy. All right, number eight. Uh, great news. You can buy one of Kanye West trucks. See, he's got a whole fleet of trucks uh, for getting around his 3,800-acre ranch that he bought in Wyoming two years ago. But now he's getting divorced. And as we all know, when you get divorced, it's usually time that you have to get rid of the ranch and six of your cars uh, and put them up for auction. So up for auction are four Ford pickups plus two 2020 Ford Expeditions. The SUVs only have a couple thousand miles on them. Most of these have already tracted bids. Uh, over or above $45,000 and bidding ends November 23rd. Getting your heart, hands on cars or trucks is hard as, as it is, but it is a little something extra. Mm. Maybe. Hmm. Number seven, as live shows start to come back after the long pandemic shutdown, many are trying to lure audiences back with shorter shows, now no we're intermissions. Talking. Discounted prices, but the Metropolitan Opera in New York is taking a different tack. It's currently staging a nearly six hour oh, opera. Oh my Lord. It's a German production translated as the Master Singer of Nuremberg. And for this one, there are 400 artists and stagehands, quick set changes, spirited fight scenes, and two 40 minute intermissions. One upside is that it's given some more time to a nice tradition. Members of the orchestra at the Met play poker during intermissions and they have even more time during the production. And in case you're wondering, what's the world record for longest opera? A production in 1973 called The Life and Times of Joseph Stalin. <laughs> Lasted 13 hours, 25 minutes. Wow. <laughs> we don't even want to go to a three hour movie, let alone a six hour opera. Six hours, someone I should think, be arrested for that. I wish I had a finer appreciation. My, I, I, I'm a little tone deaf, I don't know if you guys what? knew that. So Stop. it's. I can't I don't appreciate, I mean, I know that it's beautiful singing, but it's just, I, I can't, when I don't, you know, I, right. it's hard for me to yeah. get in. I get it. You know, yeah. you know, yeah. Pat, I try. Anything that takes more than two minutes really should be considered. <laughs> yeah. After time. the fourth hour in German, I get yeah. a little lost yeah. in the plot. It's a little tough. The plot gets tricky. All right, number six, look at this beautiful sea creature, but watch from a distance because it will kill you dead. Ooh, all right. Look at this. It's the blue ringed octopus. Looks lovely, right? Yeah. It's only about five inches. How cute it is. But wow. it's one of the most venomous creatures in all of the oceans. Really? It has no, it is enough venom to kill 26 humans within minutes. Wow. It has a little beak that it uses to inject the venom. Oh. On oh people, this causes your muscles to freeze up and brings on respiratory failure. Oh, to survive, that that seems like a you would you need go. CPR pretty shortly after you oh, a bite or a peck or whatever happens. Good sure. news, no deaths since the 1960s from go. this blue ringed octopus. And also, the octopus only lives off the coast of Australia. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks like it'd be a great throw pillow, though. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it does. I love it. Yeah, you just throw it. It sticks on the fridge. Yeah, you know, yeah. fun with the kids. The yeah. yeah. Too bad we don't have them here. Oh, well. Mm, next time.
All right, number five, the cheese advent calendar that sparked oh, a global yeah. frenzy five years ago. I remember this was all, oh, people all over the world yes. were just freaking out over this. Look at this. Uh, the So Wrong It's Nom Christmas Countdown features 24 different bits of individually wrapped cheesy goodness behind each door. Since its debut Christmas launch in 2016, more than 700,000 cheese wow, advent calendars have know. been sold in 16 countries, oh. making it one of Amazon's top 10 best-selling Christmas calendars. I know you're all asking and you're all wondering. I'm not going to keep you in anticipation yeah. any longer. What kind of cheeses can you expect yeah. in this year's calendar? Well, Robin, there's a spicy Mexicana. Uh, a British cheddar with apple, onion, and sage. Oh. That has your name written all over it, Paulie. Yeah, sage. And a uh, red Lester, uh, aged for nine months. That's the only yeah. kind of Lester you want. Yeah. This yeah. one that's been aged that long. Mm. Huh. Number four, let's be honest, lying is a big part of our daily life. You may not be running a pyramid scheme or cheating on your wife, but we're all guilty of those little white lies that just slip out. Here are some of the most common ones. I'll be there in five minutes. Oh, yeah. We need to catch up, which we told you about in the six at six today. I didn't get your text. Yeah. I'm too tired. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it later. Yeah. Also, this is delicious. Uh -huh. This is the best <laughs> gift ever. Uh -huh. I'm busy that weekend. Yeah. I'll just have one. Right. I was only kidding. <laughs> These are all great. <laughs> they are good lies. Yeah. I was only kidding. Yeah, just is. All right, time for number three. Can you guess who this is? We'll give you a few seconds. It's me here. <laughs> yeah. But now this. I saw this, so I know. Yeah. And me I, too. I, yeah. Uh, I'm going with. And you don't know who it is. You don't so know who it is anyway. Yeah, yeah, Larry, I want to play along. No. I still don't know who it's it is. It's Jessica Simpson. Still don't know who it is. Oh, good for her. Uh, it's Jessica Simpson. She posted uh, this to celebrate what she calls four years of sobriety. She That's says unreal. this person in the early morning of 2017 is an unrecognizable version of myself. I didn't love myself. I didn't respect my own power. And today I do. It really does not look a lot like her. No. I wouldn't have known that. Uh, number two, Larry's not sure if he hates the song or the singer, so here's a different version of All I Want for Christmas oh, yeah. by Mariah Carey. Uh, this is a version that's from Love Actually. It's the same song sung oh, by different boy. people, right, so just see if you All would right, like it now. On a lot for Christmas, there's just one thing I need. I don't care I'm about out. the I love this movie. Great flick. The Christmas tree. I just want she you love actually my Larry. Own. No, but this is as whiny as Mariah. Yeah, yeah, it's so no good. The story behind it is so cute. Make my wish come is that the murderer there? <laughs> it's the little boy. She's the boy's a murderer. He's in love with her. The little boy is going to be drumming in a second. So you could see him growing up to be one, right? Oh, yeah. That often happens. See? Aww. This is terrible. It does it's look horrible. It's terrible. You are mean. So you're saying a precocious child singing an annoying song doesn't, doesn't change do anything right. for you. You're still against the song, Makes right? Makes it worse, I'm still against the song. Oh, Lord. Come on. You hold this up to Nat King Cole, it doesn't, it doesn't even compare. Come on, let's do a matchup of Nat King Cole and Mariah Carey, and let's see who wins. Hey, it's not one. It's their apples and oranges, Larry. This is this is lighthearted, yes, modern, and one lovely. Of, one of them is ruining Christmas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's the word. That young actress is Olivia Olsen. She's now 29. That was her uh, first oh role. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. She's a recording artist and has lent her voice to cartoons like Powerpuff Girls, Phineas and Ferb. Mm. Uh, we have a picture of what she looks like now. Nah, yeah. That's what the internet's for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not a reflection on her. I think it is the song more What's than Mariah. Oh, right. we got to the bottom of that. You are so hateful. This just brings me joy. Oh, this Lord. is a great watch, too. Love Actually. It gets you in the spirit. For What's the going on there? Season. That's the Prime Minister of England hooking up with some commoner backstage. Isn't really? That? Yes, uh, you grant. A little scandalous. Oh. oh, it's so good. Looks horrible. Look, it's all about love. 
<laughs> All right, I think this is enough of this. <laughs> we watched a lot of this. We watched the entire song. All right. <laughs> For God's sakes. People have enough pain in their lives. We've got a pandemic we've just come through. Pile that crap on yeah. top of it. Good Lord. My apologies. Someone got a little long winded over All right. Mm. All right. Okay. Patrick, my number fine. one already. <laughs> We're going to uh, show you a video of a guy named Hezbollah. Uh, people who follow uh, MMA fighting on TikTok might know who he is. He is a blogger from the Russian Republic of Dagestan. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, he mostly posts pranks and spoof videos about MMA. Here's the thing. He's 18, but he has a condition that makes him look and sound younger. Uh, check it out. Посмотрим, на что способен Хазбек лицом к лицу. За какие деньги ты готов выйти и подраться с Абдрозиком? На этом карте я тебе купить могу вообще жизнь. А почему тогда до конференции истерил как ребенок? Не болтай, я тебе бокалу дам один. Отпусти. Э, я просто не сказал. Не быку я сказал. Ну попробуй. А ты что ли еще такой бомба у меня? Oh, he's living his best life. He's got a boat. This is How old is he? There he's, he's older. He's, he's not young at all. Let's see what he's capable of. He's like 30, 40, 40. I think maybe 30 or something. Ah, do we know how old he is? He's got great know. skin. He seems delightful, though. He's got a nice hat. Yeah, great hat. Right? That's half of it. You have a good hat, you can get away with anything. Look at this guy. Looks. I guess trouble. No, but got a fuse on him though. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Huh. It's a lot. It's a lot to yeah. unpack here. It's a lot. It's a lot to unpack here. What are you kicking him for? What are you, he's not doing anything. Let's see he's figured out ways to resolve conflict. I wonder how much of this is staged. Yeah. I feel like we're all the internet hoodwinked here. Yeah, oh. likely so. Well, that's a nine at nine. It's the nine at nine.